So this is a story about uh, selling a Rocktron Model X console uh, to Teddy Riley. And uh, this console was a pretty slick console when it first came out. Uh, but its limitation was at 48K, so it was digital in, digital out, and Rocktron made it. And it was a pretty interesting uh, c control surface, and it had this big uh, computer that went with it. I sold the first one uh, to Manchester Craftsman Guild in, in Pittsburgh, PA, and they were very happy with it. They were using D88s, recording uh, through their Apogee 88,000s, and then digitally... Uh, you know, they would do all their mixing through this console. But uh, Teddy Riley wanted uh, uh, to try one. So I arranged to send it down to Virginia Beach, and he tried it, and, and he loved it. And he said, this is great. And uh, he wanted to, you know, get a lease on it. And I said, all right, I'll arrange for the lease. So uh, I told him ahead of time, I said, no, keep in mind, with a lease, once you sign the lease papers, it doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to the lease company until you pay them off. So I can't uh, take something back uh, once you sign the lease, lease papers. So he said, yeah, 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 I, I got it. I got it. And, and it wasn't Teddy I was talking. I was talking to his uh, studio manager, uh, the guy who fired Serban, which was a really big mistake. But anyways, um, so got the counsel to him. He signed the leasing papers. And it was only like a day after that, that Teddy's uh, uh, manager gets in touch with me. He says, yeah, we want to return the console. I go, well, sorry, you can't return the console because I don't own it anymore. The leasing company owns it. So you'd have to talk to the leasing company and they're not going to just take it back. And he, and he argued with me up and down about how I needed to take it back. And it was bad for business. I said, well, I, it has nothing to do with me. And I explained this to you uh, ahead of time. You, that console now belongs to the lease company and you're buying it from the lease company, not from me. The lease company pays me once, uh, you know, once they got all, you know, the, the paper signed. So, uh, it, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a good situation. And I, I'm always out to help people out, but when, when you're dealing with a lease company, there's nothing you can do about that. But, uh, he was pretty mad. I don't know whatever became of that console. But uh, that company eventually, uh, uh, Rocktron, sold the Model X console uh, uh, division to uh, Matrix Halo. And Matrix Halo tried to make it work. And those guys are some geniuses. And uh, they, they were having problems with getting parts and things like that. So it, it just died off. And I, I think it's super rare to find that console anyplace anymore. Uh, I'll see if I can find a picture and post it. But that was my uh, dealing with Teddy on that console. And not happy about the situation, but there was nothing I could do about it.